Good afternoon, Eric Arnold here yet again on Wednesday, March 24th, 5th. <laughs> you would think this is the first one of these videos I've ever made. This is take four of this video. Take four. Uh, 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 first one, I think I had a coughing fit. No, I don't think I'm sick, although basically I, I have felt run down today. But I'm not sick. I don't think I'm sick. Anyway, uh, take two, uh, a very large fart. Um, take three, more coughing. Now take four. Oh, and uh, take two, I was going to leave the fart in there. The real reason I canceled that one was because I made this big long point, and then as I'm re listening to it, as I'm uploading it to uh, YouTube, I'm like, that whole goddamn thing doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, it. it, it, it Anyway, the point that I screwed up, I'll let you in on it. Uh, uh, we're talking about the uh, baseball, where they're getting ready to start the season. Not really. They're talking about getting ready to start the season. They're talking maybe, you know, June, July as a start date, which is what I've already told you. I've said July 4th. Anyone that listens, July 4th, that's what I keep saying. So July 4th, and then they're going to try to jam as many games in as possible they're going to play all throughout October, possibly, and then play the playoff games uh, in either warm weather sites in November or in domes. Um, okay. You know, and they're talking about things like that, you know, we just haven't been done before. Uh, things that they do in college or the minor leagues, like double headers, seven innings each. Um, hmm, you know, I'm a baseball fan. That means I resist change. I like my game the way I like my game, so all this is making me a little nervous. Um, and, and the reason they're doing this, I guess, is so they can, you know, generate as much money as they, uh, you know, can for the truncated season. Now, the, the point I made was this big long point about uh, needing to make this money off of season ticket holders, which doesn't make any sense because there are not going to be any fans at the game. Uh, they're trying to make the money, I guess, off of the TV. I suppose that's where they make all their money anyway. Uh, you know, uh, um, let's face it, some of these teams don't draw all that well to begin with, so they really probably aren't generating all that much money off of the gate. Uh, the money comes from TV, I imagine, and the TV networks are, you know, kind of like the season ticket holders where... You know, we pay X amount of dollars. You know, I have been a season ticket holder in the past. And, uh, you know, I, I, I cut a huge check to the team. And then I get tickets for all 81 uh, home games. So, no game, you owe me the money back. Uh, and which is, I'm pretty sure, what's going to happen with all the season ticket holders uh, for this upcoming season is... Oh, there'll be some games, but they're not going to allow you to go attend those games. So, I, I'm pretty sure they're going to have to refund all that money. Uh, but, uh, the TV networks, uh, they will be, you know, they'll still have to pay MLB because game did occur. And you got to broadcast said game, and said game was... You know, uh, pretty much a normal baseball game, unless it's seven innings instead of nine. Uh, I guess if I was a TV network, I might bitch about that a little bit. It's like, wait a minute, I paid you for nine innings, not seven. Uh, so I, I guess they'd have to hag one, work that one out. Um, it, 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 jamming all that many games into a compressed time window as a fan? Uh, yeah, I mean, i just assume... They just played their normal schedule, whatever they could do, and if it's 100, if it's 90, then it is. And I think that'd be pretty exciting, actually. Um, for betting purposes, I think it'd be a mess. A real mess. I mean, it, it, you know, the problem with double headers is they don't post the line until, like, you know, an hour before the game when the lineups come out. You know, you got an idea, sort of, of who's going to be pitching in a doubleheader. But you don't know, you know, if you know the team might have let it out that, well, we're going to pitch 
uh, Justin Verlander and Johnny never started before. Uh, so you don't know, is the manager going to start game one with Justin Verlander? Or is he going to start game one with Johnny never started before? Well, you sure as hell don't want to be paying Verlander money for Johnny never started before. So it, it, it's, and it, 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 that's the stuff you, you got to wait till like an hour, 90 minutes before the damn game starts before they actually tell you whether you're getting Verlander or Johnny never started. Um, it, it, so, you know, these are, I guess beggars can't be choosers at the moment. I would bet on. Uh, uh, three mice running across the floor of the barn and turn the cats loose on them and see if uh, which cat catches the mice first. I'd bet on that. Uh, at any rate, apparently the president has thrown a date against the wall. He was saying in 15 days we'll see where we're at. That's this Sunday. Uh, well, he said now April, uh, uh, Easter, April 12th. So, okay, so 15 days means we get another 15 days, apparently. Again, I guess beggars can't be choosers. I'm happy we just have some date in mind, you know. It, it, and I'm going to say that date's probably not going to slide too much. Uh, people are now kind of mentally digging into that date. Businesses are fixating on that date um, before we all starve to death out here. So... Uh, let's hope that April 12th is the date and it doesn't change. I, I, I'm familiar, I'm pretty familiar with government. Um, if government sets a scenario in mind for you, you almost never get a better scenario. In other words, that date's not going to move up. They're not going to let us loose before April 12th. There's no chance in the world, no possibility in the world that that could happen. So April 12th is your best case. Your best case. Um, it probably will slide beyond that, but not too much, I hope. Let's hope it sticks to April 12th. Let's hope it does. So that's all I got for you. Um, I'm going to, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I had thought about making some kind of a beginning and end screen for the videos so I don't just walk out here like a cold open all the time that there's a little 20-30 second doo -doo 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 and maybe some graphics and stuff or maybe a picture of a barn uh, that would suck in some other viewers off the internet uh, so I, I've got time I may try to figure out how to hook that up uh, go back to learning how to do some of this stuff to make my channel bigger, better, greater. Uh, although right now it's uh, almost pointless because the content is uh, just not what it was designed to be to begin with. So, uh, at any rate. All right, very good. Uh, be safe, watch your hands, avoid contact, uh, do all the good things that the CDC, the president, and all your local authorities are telling you to do. Uh, and life will be back to normal. At some point. I won't say before you know it. At some point. Thank you. Arnold out.